Welcome back. There is a big dispute in Sacramento over something called the California Taxpayers Protection Act. It's a ballot measure that will appear before voters in the fall that will change the way taxes are agreed to, not just statewide, but locally. The governor of the, Calif of the state, the legislature, uh, as well as the, the League of California Cities, they've gone to the California Supreme Court to try to keep it off the ballot. They say it violates the state constitution. Rob Lapsley is the the president of the California Business Roundtable, which is sponsoring the ballot measure, uh, if assuming it makes it onto the November ballot. He joins us from Sacramento. Mr. Lopsley, uh, thanks for taking the time. Explain, explain what this is. So I represent actually a broad-based coalition. I, my co-chairs, one of them is the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association, the other is California Business Properties. And on behalf of our broad-based coalition, uh, we have 115 organizations across the state. We have over 600 individuals, uh, coalitions from social justice coalitions to taxpayer, who have come together to be able to sponsor this initiative that, in its most simplest form, empowers the voters of California to have the final vote on all future state and local taxes. It's as simple as that. Uh, currently, obviously, the legislature votes on taxes, and then they get implemented. Governor Jerry Brown, in his third term, came up with the idea that he would never sign a tax increase on the people of California unless they voted on it first. That's what this is. Uh -oh. So all these future taxes that you will see, the people of California get to decide which ones, how much, uh, and what they're going to be. Uh -oh. Okay, so the, the uh, League of California Cities, in describing this, uh, they call it you, you, your group, the, a group of the state's wealthiest corporations. Uh, the ballot measure would expand the definition of what constitutes a tax and raise the voter approval threshold for local taxes. The initiative would also limit certain fees to the least amount necessary to provide the service. So League of Cities, let's be clear who they represent. They represent the 13 largest cities in the state of California, who have been passing tax after tax on local citizens for a whole variety of what their spending programs are. So what we're talking about here, again, is the ability to give the voters that right. And so at the local level, specifically, we change one thing on future uh, local taxes, and that's to take a provision that had been put into effect decades ago that required a citizen-backed initiative to get a two-thirds vote. A court in 2018 changed it to a majority vote, and all our measure does is take it back to a two-thirds. The cities operated under that for decades and never said a word. In fact, they supported it uh, in other court filings. Now they're saying it's the end of the world. That if that if the citizens in their cities get a two-third require a two-thirds vote then that is somehow going to stop everything. So they are certainly trying to paint the, the worst picture on this. And the reality is they've operated under a two-thirds vote for decades. All we're doing is changing it back. Very uh, okay. simple. Uh, okay, so it's now, it's going before the California Supreme Court. They say, listen, this is illegal because it changes the state constitution and initiatives can't do that. It has to be a constitutional amendment through the legislature. Um, you're fighting that, obviously. Do we have any idea when the, when the high court, the state's high court, is going to rule on this? And if you'll end up on the ballot, after all. So the legislative leaders and the governor oppose this. They do not want the people of California to, to have the right to vote on any tax they pass. So as a result, they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to file a lawsuit against us to ask the Supreme Court to take us off the ballot, to disenfranchise the 1.4 million people who signed our petitions, to disenfranchise the broad-based coalition that's in support of this. Uh, and they say that we have two big and impact on the state constitution, that we revise it. When all we're doing is actually amending it, the courts have it. Our arguments are very strong. We absolutely believe we'll win the court case. 
but they are doing everything they can to stop this. Uh, and to those who say, listen, it takes away the legislative right of the elected representatives in Sacramento and on city councils to be able to deal with uh, issues that relate to well, government and public safety and the public sector. Uh, and it, it, it's it's a it's a handcuff uh, and, and, and violates the fundamental, uh, uh, you know, fundamental democratic institution of representative government. Well, there's nothing more democratic than allowing the people to vote on how much they want to pay in taxes. But why didn't they make that argument when Jerry Brown had put this policy in place starting back in 2010? They didn't say a word. Rob Lopsley is with the California Business Roundtable and the Taxpayer Protection Act. They're hoping it makes the ballot in November. We shall see. Thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you for this opportunity. We'll have some final comments after this.